Hello learners, I am Dr. Subodh Kesharwani working with Indira Gandhi National Open University and the topic which I am going to talk today is internet services and email. I think uh, uh, if you talk in the present scenario, everybody is familiar with internet and uh, when we go more into the depth of it, I think we know that there was a time when we talk about after Christ or before Christ but right now we talk about you know the pre-internet and post-internet scenario. So those people who born after the internet was there and those who born before the internet was there. So pre-internet and post-internet transaction is going on and lot of more terminologies are coming up and we have observed that uh, we have observed that this internet services and email is, is a very important chapter because it gives us the uh, roof about what, what exactly the internet it is and how the communication is going to be play a very important role because when if we more talk about the communication I think there was a time when communication was more uh, um, moving in a very uh, very uh, gradual manner, very uh, in, a, in, a la in a late manner, but uh, the internet had made everything quite speedy and the communication is very fast. And uh, the paperless uh, transaction is there, there is great use of, uh, of, uh, of you know, the technology and environment is also going to be affected by that. So this, as we talk about the internet services and email, this uh, internet service is, is a very important thing because it talks about that how the services are going to play a very important role and it's going to build that. So prior to going into the depth of this internet services and email, because everybody is familiar with the term called internet and uh, uh, if, we, if we see in the present scenario as far as this particular course is con concerned that business uh, uh, computer application business. Uh, we have we have seen that uh, business is also going to use this computer in a more systematic manner and the definition of the computer the nomenclature of the computer or the name of the computer is is changing uh, with the change of time but uh, and uh, this had not taken uh, replace the computer with the te term called technology so in our preceding sessions we have talked about application we have talked about you know the computers the various ingredients related to computers then softwares then application software and system software then web applications this web application is somewhat overlap with the internet phenomena which we are going to talk today because when we are going to talk about the internet service this web application is very important because web based uh, explorers are there web based you know uh, model is there and everything is on the web everything is on the cloud so it's not like that you know for for particular purpose you are just browsing the internet or browsing the uh, the the particular devices you are just you know doing it because your data is also on the web so so the whole world is talking about web so word is web now and uh, we have talked about business information system in which we have we, which we have talked about uh, the various uh, aspect that how the business is going to be governed and how the information system is is going to strengthen the business so then database management is system because in the backdrop of any business is is the database management if you are going to put the your data online so then business process how the business process is going to be enhanced and then, then enterprise application. And when you're going to talk about enterprise application, there are certain, you know, the softwares which are helping or facilitating the, the business houses or not to the business houses, but the institution, but to the government agencies or to the various organizations. So it could be the tailor-made or the customized applications which are there. Then GDPR is there. So general data production regulation is, is, is now knocking a door and it's moral duty of every country or, you know, the whole world to, to you know, keep the data safe so that the consumer's data which are, you know, scattered or, you know, roams around anywhere, it's going to be regulated by that. So IT securities in business which we have covered in our preceding sessions and it was talking about, you know, the cyber threat, cyber security or, you know, the hacking because now since everything is going on the web, everything is going on, on, you know, other part of the world and very easily, you know, the people can able to get the picture because uh, people are on social networking site, they are on, on the uh, e-commerce portals and so how the security is going to be there because their wallets, their plastic money and their amount is going to be linked with the particular commerce portal. So this is where, you know, the things are there. This is a four credit skill based course of BCom and uh, we have already covered somewhere around 10 to 12 lectures and the whole, you know, the episode, whole, you know, scenario talks about uh, starting from the underneath path of computers and then, you know, gradually we can, we can cover, you know, the applications, 
the, the, the theme based applications or you know the application which can facilitate the business. So anyway, uh, we, if, you, if you see this particular uh, screen, you will be able to know that this is internet services and email configuration and we are here to talk about the internet, how, what exactly the internet is and because everywhere we are talking about, uh, there was a time when we talk about the highways. There was a time when we talk about, you know, uh, the brick and mortar roads, but right now we talk about e-ways. What exactly the e-ways? E-ways talks about that you don't have to uh, build a road so that people can, you know, connect themselves from one jurisdiction to other jurisdiction, but they can, you know, connect themselves virtually through internet. I think we all are moving in a uh, in a pandemic stage and we have we have seen that during this lockdown period this this meeting software or you know virtual interaction had come up in a big manner and this and this is a real example of the internet and we have seen that how this virtual meeting the the uh, which had replaced the physical meeting is now bridging the gap and somewhere the work is going on so this is one of the re uh, very good example as far as the internet is concerned and types of internet services what are the certain services which are part of the inter, uh, which considered to be the internet services are there and about email and its configuration uh, how we are going to configure the email and uh, and uh, what is the utility of email then web browsers then world wide web is there then uniform resource locator is there then domain names are there because uh, when we talk about the domain names i think it's become a matter of pride for every company to have their own websites or own, have their own applications so these domains could be you know dot com as a, uh, as a as a suffix when you are having a company name or you know the, if you are institution you can take dot edu or if you are you no know, so we will definitely throw a light on this particular domain names also when we are going to talk about this particular term so the internet is a global network of billions of computers and other electronic devices uh, with the internet it's possible to access almost any information communicate with anyone else in the world and do much more so it's not like that with internet you are going to communicate or inform anything right now if you talk about you can you can order food you can get the food at your doorstep you can educate yourself you can learn many things from internet there are there are certain virtual universities which are coming up there are certain virtual courses if you talk about edx or coursera or you talk about you know the uh, indira gandhi university as a whole they are putting their programs on the swayam platform or mhrd portals where where learners can can you know go through the programs or the particular course uh, without paying anything so this kind of you know charitable model which had been initiated so it's it's not confined to just purely information or communication but but you know doing something more so uh, this kind of uh, thing which had come up so you can do all this by connecting a computer to the internet or you know the, if you talk about the computer you can use as a device it could be a gadget it could be a you know tablets it could be a laptop or you know the smartphones which can, which can, which call going online so to understand the internet it helps to look at it as a system which is a combination of hardware and software and there are certain hardwares which are there and there are certain application softwares now the app based model is come up if you uh, have an android phone and you just go to the google play store you find out there are numerous number of applications which are there and you you think about you know either it could be the encyclopedia or you know the online pedia you will find out that for thesaurus for dictionary for learning for you know for commerce or for you know the the different you just name you know any of the domain i think for every domain for every aspect you find out the application is coming up and these applications are are developed by the developers and floated on the on in an application format on the google play store and one can download it so with the moment you download it you can use it and there are certain some of the applications are you know uh, is in free nature and some are having a subscription base so people are you know doing a buying the things as per their scenario and and you know this model of watching the television also been changed we have seen that there was a time when we rigid to the uh, the particular broadcasters or the service providers now the web series model had come up and there are certain e-commerce portal who are giving a bundle offer so you can have you know the web series you can have a shopping you can do a lot of things so so uh, you can do the banking also so banking commerce and uh, what we talk about you know the entertainment or you know the multimedia is all equipped with uh, with them so one stop portal is coming up which is going to be have a basket of you know 
features and you can use this. So all these devices together create the network of networks, that is very true. And when you talk about internet, it's not the network, but the network of networks, because it can redirect you to, to the third portal, you can very easily reconnect yourself. So a lot of, you know, the pedagogy of modus operandi is there. So how does it work if we just throw a light on it? We have a modem which can, and router is there. Now uh, the, uh, the, the service provider can link with the modem and and uh, the, uh, in, in our device, you know, the the internet symbol comes up, and uh, if we find that it's in, that internet symbol is is active, the that it goes through domain server, then web server, then the request path and return path is there. So, anyway, this is one of the way by which the and the certain fixed wireless internet works where the tower is going to be established at one place, and from there the con connectivity is going to be disseminated. So, high speed internet signals are there, then receiver antennas are there, and main access. So. This could be one of the, you know, the wireless model is coming up where fiber optical cables or, or you know, the different mode is coming up. So there is no need to uh, put the, uh, you know, the cables inside it. So the satellite from the satellite, the linkage is there and model and things are going on. So two most important protocols are TCP and IP. And when you talk about TCP is transmission control protocol and IP stands for internet protocol. So there are transport layers and network layers protocols respectively of the protocol suit. The most well-known networks that are adopted are TCP, IP, is internet, and biggest one is the uh, wider area network in the world. So uh, this uh, TCP, IP model is, is a present data to the users, encoding and session control, which is called the application, then support of communication between diverse devices and networks, which is, you know, in the form of transport, then determines the path in the network, which is duty of the internet then controls the hardware components of the network is called network access so there are such certain rj45 or coaxial cables are there from there you can connect or the wi-fi model is coming up so the whole world is talking about the the cordless approach where no cable format is there so if you talk about internet now the internet had taken a new name called internet of thing and uh, which is which uh, with the intention is very clear it's internet for everything and either you connect yourself or you can, you know, on the bulbs or you can switch on the fan just, you know, through your device. So even, you know, the the lockers going to be controlled and and the, the Wi-Fi camera is going to be controlled. So a lot of features, a lot of, you know, things are there which is going to come up. There are certain, you know, the Google voice-based assistance uh, devices are coming up which are navigating, you know, the users to accordingly with the help of voice they can do that so we are moving from text base to the voice base so as far as the searching is concerned as far as you know the execution is concerned so the internet of thing or iot refers to the billions of physical devices around the world that are now connected to the internet and all collecting and sharing data this the intention is very clear that we are going to disseminate the knowledge we are going to disseminate the data now the data is you know uh, is a gigantic in nature and and uh, and users are or you know the corporates house are using the data as per their need as per their requirement so the term iot is mainly used for devices that would not usually be generally expected to have an internal connection and that can communicate with the network so independently of human action so now human less interventions are coming up human there is less involvement of human and what we have observed that that uh, this humanless model is is quite active or quite omnipresent in nature. So, Internet of Things describes a network of physical objects that are embedded with sensors, softwares, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging of data and other devices and systems over the internet. So, the definition of internet has uh, has changed with the change of time. It's now the real time. It's more analytic in nature. There is a use of machine learning, deep learning. You know, the blockchain technology had come up. And, uh, and this commodity sensors are coming up and what is the purpose behind that and when you talk about intention is very clear uh, there are certain examples which are which are you know going on with the help of this IOT devices uh, if we take about the bulb that can be switched on using a smartphone apps and uh, very easily you can change the color of the bulb also you can you can even uh, execute the bulb with the help of uh, certain uh, voice based assistant either it could be Alexa Siri or Google assistant and IoT device could be fluffy as a, like you know certain uh, toys are there which are which are going to be controlled by that and and the driverless chauffeurless cars are coming up. If we talk about you know the 
uh, the, the latest uh, industry 4.0 or 5.0 talks about the chauffeurless cars. And these cars are, you know, not governed by the humans but by the technology. So you find out that how the things are changing and there is a great paradigm shift now. We are moving from brick and mortar system to click and mortar system and now with the help of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So some larger objects may themselves be filled with many smaller IT com IoT components and jet engine is now filled with thousands of sensors and they can detect the things at a very beginning stage. So collecting and transmitting a data back to make sure it's operating efficiently. And uh, we have observed that in certain smart cities, the, there is less human interventions are there and, and robots are, are doing many things. If we, we have also seen, uh, and if you go to Google, you will find out there are certain videos uh, which talks about, you know, that uh, in, the, in the grid, in the high, in the high, as far as the high tension wires are concerned, the robots are, are, um, are regulating all those uh, things because it's, it's uh, uh, having, you know, a huge currents flow over there. So by that, they are going to control that. So anyway, what it takes to deliver the Internet of Things, it's a high speed data net network, a secure network, fast accessible Wi-Fi and integrated ISP support. So this is a Internet basically and if you talk about the Internet services or, you know, the uh, the types of internet services, it could be in different format and it's not confined to that, it's change with the change of time and it could be email, it could be instant messaging. I think this instant messaging model had come because we, uh, we, if we recall ourselves, there was a time when we are very much depend on short messaging services which we usually call SMS. After certain time what happened, the, the messaging browsers had come up, either it could be Skype or WhatsApp or you know, uh, the Google Duo and what we observe that these messaging services have bring a paradigm shift. So nobody is right now going for short messaging services but using this, uh, this uh, contemporary messaging services and they are not confined to rigid, you know, they are using the video messaging services or you know, uh, the other format also. So the, 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 the style or in the change, uh, the culture had been changed and we are right now more talking about you know, the instant messaging, then social network is also changing. When social networking uh, was started, started by Facebook or, you know, Twitter or Instagram or some other players, at that time it was very much confined, having very lit very limited features. But right now you find out it's doing a lot of things. We are here and we are, you know, just disseminating our knowledge through this Facebook live program. So this Facebook is a social networking site. So it's now not, you know, doing this thing, but adding some more things. So knowledge is also going to be disseminated or learning is going to be uh, done at your own pace. So you can either view the live lectures or you can, you know, just download the lectures or, you know, see the lecture as per your pace. So this kind of model is come up, file transfer protocol is there, then electronic forums are there. So these electronic forums are, are, are developed now. Search engines, as far as the Google is concerned, you know, it had been a lot of change where everything is on the web. You don't have to get, if you want particular information about a particular thing, you just go to search engine. So uh, there was a time when we refer, you know, the, the encyclopedias, but right now nobody is, you know, using this brick and mortar pedias. They are just, you know, going to Wikipedia or, you know, the thesaurus or, or the dictionaries online, which is available and just, you know, gather or cater the info or take the information from there. So web hosting is, is now change with the change of time, it could be in a cloud manner, it could be in a, so if you are going to have your own company, when you are having your own domain, I think you are going to host your web on the particular portal. So this web hosting is now changed and Google Play Store is now one step in this direction. So this Google Play Store is now putting the things in the application format and you can put your application on Google Play Store, anybody can download it. So online, online storage is also coming up and this cloud based storing model had come up. This is one of the way by which the email and, and its configuration is going to be done. And this Gmail and Yahoo Mail and Hotmail was a pioneer. And you see how you can go to this particular image and create your own account and buy. And things are quite navigating in nature. The moment you put the, your details you very easily, somebody can navigate you and finally you reach to open your account. And the moment you open your account, you get, you know, some, some data which is going to be free where you can store your information. It could be 10 GB, 15 GB and afterwards if you want you can just you know pay and get it so what is the future behind that future is that you know that uh, this uh, uh, we are moving towards you know the cloud storing philosophy where our data is going to be put on the web on the cloud and from there so there is less uses of of the stereotype hard disk or you know the 
the gadgets to store the information. So, uh, so there is less demand of the external devices which were usually you know demanded in the very beginning stage. The, the compact disk or in the floppy drive market is now evaporated. So there is no use of it. So web browser if we talk about we have a very uh, elaborative session on web browser but again just we want to throw a light that Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge or you know Opera or Safari is one of the uh, browsers which are there and Mozilla Firefox is also there. So these you know internet browsers are, are navigating us, providing us a platform to browse and you know find the things through the internet. If there could not be a no browser, you cannot able to go at least to the web. Operating system can only you know find, give you the option to uh, open the device. But as far as this particular application is concerned, the web based application is concerned is going to do with browser only. So uniform resource locator is colloquial termed as web address. URL occurs most commonly to reference web pages but also used to uh, file transfer, email, database and many other applications. If any company you know uh, open their own domains or you know get the get the particular names like the name of the company is ABC and they have taken you know the domain names called .com so their URL could be abc.com. So this is the way and if you talk about the domain name, a domain no name is the address where internet users can access your website. A domain name is used for finding and identifying computers on the net. Computer uh, use IP address which is internet protocol address which are series of numbers. So it starts with one, 198.10.10. Point .10 something like that. So it goes up to 255. So um, when we throw a light on this IP related phenomena we will talk about that. So these are the certain you know the domains which can be available if the government organization is there it can use the .gov if there is an informative websites it can talk take the domain name called uh, info or .com or edu for for educational purpose for for e-commerce the and for for mobile related so how to choose a domain name I think uh, this is the model by which the things are there. Uh, if the name is, of the company is quite big, you can take an acronym of that. If the name of the company is, uh, if you want to take just a small uh, name, you can go and take that. This is a you know virtual representation as well as physical representation. So, uh, as far as the IGNU is concerned, now IGNU.ac.in is the official uh, portal of the Indira Gandhi National Open University, and this particular you know, university you know talks about. Uh, and one can visit the portal and find the detail about that. So all the information about the departments, about the school, about you know the archives or you know how you can interact with the uh, supporting staff or administrative staff, the regional centers is available on there. So anyway, I think we have talked a lot about the internet services and email and uh, uh, if, you, if you talk about you know the total population of India which is somewhere around 130 crores, I think majority of them have their email account and these email accounts is one of the way representing ourselves. So there was a time when we asked people that what's your mobile number, now we ask what's your email. So the things had been changed, the concept had been changed, the philosophy had been changed, the mindset had been changed. So this internet services had changed the mindset of the individual now and uh, providing people more frequent towards the communication, towards the you know the learning and other approach and with the help of internet we are not just you know doing one thing but we are doing gamu gamut of things. So with that I am going to winding up my session. I think in our forthcoming session we are going to talk more about uh, a theme which can you know defend our course called computer application business. Thank you very much. Thank you.